All righty. So with Adam not here, I think Elaine that it falls to, <laughs> falls to you, I believe. Okay, well, we only have one item. So first of all, let's welcome Brandon to our meeting. Congratulations, Brandon. Thank you. Congratulations to yourself and Ms. Carol Andrews. I'm saying Carol. <laughs> Mr. Andrews. Anywho, happy to be here. Here to learn. So no worries. Um, we're going to start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Everybody ready? Mm -hmm. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. America. The republic for which, for it, which it stands, stands a nation, a nation under, under God, God indivisible, indivisible, liberty, liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Um, I believe the only item we have is 26 Carver Street. And um, I did send you folks out some pictures of the existing dwellings via, that I got off of Google. He's proposing to um, remove one building and replace it with a larger building. And he's talking about providing an in-law. I'm not quite sure where. Um, do, 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 do you have a, a site plan or something you can put on the, on the camera. I believe Melissa was going to yep, do that. I can, yep, I can share that for you right now. Hold on one second. Thanks, Melissa. Did we invite the um, applicant to be on the Zoom call? I saw you ask. <laughs> I just found it confusing, so. Could you put the site plan itself on the screen? You're muted, Melissa. Sorry, I'm working on it. Hold on one second. No. I feel bad for Adam when he has to do this. <laughs> see, if you can, see if you can put the site plan itself on the screen. I think it's number two, page two. You just click on it on to the left. Let's see, is that popping up at all? Not yet. Mm -hmm. Can you scroll down at all? Yeah, keep there going go. a little bit more. That's good. Whoops. Oh. Just a little. Yeah, that's good. Okay. You got it. You can you make that any uh, uh, any stronger? Any larger? Larger. Yeah. Um, okay. Scroll down. A, yeah. All right. Okay. There you go. Scroll up a little. <laughs> now, now, what, what does this uh, person want to do? He's proposing to remove a building that is 2,384 square feet and replace it with a building that's 40 by 60 or 2,400 square feet. So not much bigger, but a little bit bigger. He, oh, remarks, he remarks that the... Um, the rear line, so the setback on the rear was 8.9 feet and the new one would be 29 feet. But he also talks about an in-law, which I'm not quite sure where he's planning to put that. And I'm not really sure which building he's looking to remove from the ones I sent you the pictures of. Well, according to the, uh, the in-law bylaw, an in-law is supposed to be substantially enclosed within the existence of the existing home. And unlike, unlike the one like on uh, Washington Terrace, that, that's completely side by side. Right. And that, and that case should have been denied by the plant by the zoning board, but it was not. Because that was, that was like another uh, principal building. 
which you cannot have on a lot. You can only have one principal building on a lot. Well, the concern here is there's commercial property in with personal. I don't know if anybody looked at the pictures. Did anybody? Yes. Wayne, did you look at them? No, I did not. You might want to before we go any further. Is it something you can bring up on your computer? I'm not very computer savvy, so I wouldn't even. It's in the email I sent you. Uh, I didn't get an email from you. Yeah, you should have. I, I got an email from from Melissa. Yeah, but I returned that to all and included pictures of the the location. There's some sort of um, garage there that work is done in. And um, there's another what looks like a mobile home. I can't tell if it's connected. And then there's an open bay that has a metal roof above it with quite a few um, personal effects under the metal roof. It's not, it's not really all residential. So I didn't know how that would, in, would play out. That's, that's on Carver Street, right? And that's off Plymouth Street? Right, it's actually off of Bradford, off of Plymouth. Okay, let's see where we're at here. Up near the Abington line. Right, Carver Street, okay. Most of, uh, most of Carver Street is uh, A2 residents. And the back end, of it, the back end of it is uh, limited industrial. Yeah, I think he's got a little bit of both going on. Okay. Well, I, I think this is one of those cases where we would really need to have the applicant there to in person. Yeah, that's why I suggested getting him on the Zoom call, but I guess we didn't do that, so. We might have to just um, refer it to the appeals board at this point. Uh, it, do you know when the appeals board is going to schedule this? Because uh, we could always nope. continue this to the next uh, planning board hearing. Say again? I... Uh, I, I, I wouldn't want to take a, you know, I wouldn't want to vote on this without having some more information. Right. I agree. Um, Especially after seeing the pictures. I was not able to get down there today. I had company all day. I think, I think the next uh, zoning board hearing is on the, uh, the second Monday of June. And I don't know, right. I don't know if this is scheduled for that date or not. And that would be the day before our next one. On the planning board. Well, we could deny it with because we don't have enough information. Right. Melissa, is there any chance you have the pictures I sent by email? Um, yes, if I, I can unshare this and then I can try and share the pictures. So just bear with me for one minute. That'd be great because then Wayne can see what I'm trying to apply. Hey, oh, Wayne, while she's pulling that up, let me ask you a question. Mm hmm. The application doesn't seem to match what he's actually describing. Am I wrong in, in pointing no, that out? Or, no. Okay. It's kind of confusing. I don't see what an in-law has to do with anything on this. Well, up right? at the where it says, I think he, got, he might have got a little confused by the way the okay. application written. It says to ask for, to put in what existing is and what's proposed. And he put in existing dwelling with proposal in-law. Now, whether he's okay. actually looking for an in-law or not, I can't really tell because below he refers to the fact that he wants to remove a building, replace a building. And he makes a point of saying the setbacks will be improved. And then he says, um, even the last line of that application, I think he meant to say it would not be will not be yeah yeah and he wrote it would be detrimental so i think that's why we're confused and likely can't make any decision but i would like wayne to see the property if at all possible this this, this in-law that he he's describing is that going to be 
part of the new building? We, I, I can't tell. It just says he we wants to tear down a garage and put up a new metal structure. New metal structure, that, that, that sounds like a commercial building. Yeah. We'll give Melissa a few minutes and I think you'll understand why we're both confused. In the meantime, we could um, talk about the minutes and approve those from last time. It would be just you and Wayne, you and um, myself and Wayne, because Brandon wasn't here yet. Did you have a chance to look at those, Wayne? No, I, I, I've just been too busy today. I haven't had a chance to. to okay. That's unusual. Usually I'm right on top of everything. Yeah, me too. I just had a different day today too. But I looked at the minutes. They look terrific. I don't have a problem with them. I'd make a motion, we accept them. All right, I'll second that motion. All in favor, Wayne? Yes. And I say yes. All right, I'm gonna give this a try. We'll see what happens. Thanks, Melissa. I think I have two of the three pictures. I'm not sure if the third one will show up, but I definitely have two. That's okay. Two will make the point, I think. There's a lot of lot going on in the current location, so it's pretty hard to say which building he's taking down and which building he's replacing and whether or not that was the proposed in law. That's why I thought it would be nice if we could have had him involved, but with Zoom, it's a different beast. Okay. So according to this picture, and from what you're saying, he's going to take down that small metal building that looks like it's half uh, destroyed, and what, and also the big one behind it. Is that correct? I'm not sure. And that's the other building, and I think it's attached to the garage that you saw. I think that on the left is the garage that you saw the front of with the truck hanging out of. Uh -huh. And then this building, which I'm not quite sure if this is residential currently or not. Well, it would depend whereabouts on the lot it is, whether it's in the residential or the limited industrial zone. Now, what, right. what, what's the building on? Oh, all right, the building on the left would be the, uh, the one with the red roof done. This, well, this, no, this stop is, right there for a minute, Melissa. That, it's not what I thought. I thought to the right of this garage was what we just saw, but it's not because there's woods right there. So go back to the other picture that you showed us, Melissa, if you can. Yeah. All right. And is that, is that that vehicle on the on the right side there starting to come out of that garage? I think so. Yes. All right. Now, is that going to be destroyed, that building, along with this uh, broken down building? Not quite sure. All right. And, and what, then I think the other building that what, she showed us what, was to the back building? there. Yeah, yeah, which one of those is, is a mobile home? I was confused by that, that too. That, that one with the arrow on it looks like it might be the mobile home. The one in the back. And yeah. mobile, home, the other, mobile, home uh, um, mobile homes are not allowed unless, unless you, you're rebuilding from a, from a fire or something like that. And then you only have like a 60 to 90 day period to keep it on there. Unless, unless that building existed prior to zoning. Right. Zoning came in in 1960. Melissa, can you bring that back to that one that had the lamp light on it? That one. I think that is the mobile home in existence at the moment. Not quite sure. Yeah, I, 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 I think that just, you know, from, from, from these buildings, I mean, from these pictures, the pictures are good, but they, they don't explain enough. Right. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see how, uh, I don't see how we can make a decision on it one way or the other without more information. Because when you look at the plan, and the plan, and you don't have to go back there, Melissa, but the, the plan shows 
a separate building to the front of the building they're proposing changing that I can't discern from these pictures. That's right, yep. So I think we have to recommend denial just because we don't have enough information. Well, the information we've been given isn't uh, clear enough. Right. I mean, we can't make a decision just looking at these. <clears throat> Correct. At least I can. So do you want to make that motion? Sure. Yeah, you know, I, I I would make a motion to uh, uh, I don't know if you, if you want to make a motion to deny because, or you just want to make a motion uh, uh, that we can't uh, make a motion because we don't have enough information. With whichever one way you think would be best, we don't have enough information, and uh, uh, the pictures aren't clear enough either way. And I provided you with the pictures from Google, so I don't know how current those pictures are either. Yeah. Well, they weren't pictures I physically took. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll make a motion to deny because uh, we don't have enough uh, uh, mm -hmm. accurate information on the, on the uh, site plan. I'll second. Thank you, Brandon. All those in okay. favor? Brandon? I, yes. Wayne? I'm in favor. And I'm in favor. And while you were doing that, Melissa, we approved the minutes. Yes, I heard that. Wayne and myself, not Brandon. Okay. Did we have anything else? That was it. This will be the fastest meeting in history. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody want to make a motion to adjourn? I don't know. Do we have anything to discuss? <laughs> uh, make the motion. I don't know that we can discuss anything else that we haven't been given. Well, I'm just wondering if uh, Melissa might have anything that she knows coming down. The Nothing. You have everything that I had. Okay. Good job. All right. Well, uh, all, all the second uh, Brandon's motion. All, right. all those in favor? Brandon? Yes. Wayne? Yes. And I'll vote yes. <laughs>